Look at the birds. The bird is right there. All right, so today um, we're actually at a crag that I wanted to visit for, I don't know, a couple of years, but I've, I've never actually been because it's, you know, it's a little bit of a walk and it's like two and a half hours from Stockholm. But anyways, it's there's a couple of boulders there that I really wanted to try um, of very different styles, each one of them. And, uh, and it made me want to come up with this sort of game. And the game is that I want you guys who's, who's watching this to um, guess the grade of the boulder, right? So we've got four boulders in total, different styles. Um, they're all gonna be, you know, flashes, so it, it might look harder than it is, and it also might not. But I want you guys to just base your ga guesses off of just like what it looks like. Um, it's pretty good texture, pretty good friction here. So that's pretty much all you need to know. And then I'm gonna showcase the holds as much as possible. So yeah, let's start off with the boulder number one, which is the one right behind me. It's like a, a compression boulder, it looks like, on pretty good holds, I'd say. So yeah, that was the first boulder uh, for today. So bring out your notepads or whatever you want to write down the grades on and guess it for this one. Um, I'm not sure of the name, so I'll put it later on, but let's call it boulder number one. Um, and then at the end of the video, I'll of course, you know, release the grades for each boulder and we'll see how many right answers you have. But yeah, just to give you guys a little bit more of information on it before you guess, the left side is like pretty much all good edges or like good 90 degree squares and then you get a little bit of a thumb pinch on um, so the left side is pretty good but on the right side you're climbing on pretty much slopey open hand kind of holds uh, so there's a lot more tension coming up the from the left hand and you have to pull a lot harder on the right hand um, yeah now let's guess the grade and move over to the next boulder it's just on the other side of this little, little creek Okay, so right now we're underneath the, the so-called Dragon's Root boulder, which is where the rest of the three boulders are located. And uh, pretty much the only thing you need to know about this one is that it has this pretty slopey undercut hold right here. Um, which, yeah, you're gonna see how I use it in a little while. Um, but I think you're gonna see the rest of the holds um, on the boulder. So yeah, let's just jump on it and see how it goes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll be down in a second. Too excited. <laughs> yeah, so second boulder done. Um, yeah, quite a powerful style, but also one that suits me quite well. Um, give it a guess. Boulder number two. I think it's called Thriller, but I'll double check. Um, so yeah, take a guess, and then we're going to hop on to boulder number three. Okay, so this boulder, if I've read it correctly, I think it's like three or four moves in total to get to the top. Um, but it's, I think it might not go on the first go because it's a little bit trickier to read this type of boulder than the other ones because it's 
taller. I'm, I'm really excited to try it, so uh, let's hop on it. Really sick boulder. I'm surprised that all the moves worked. Because uh, I could measure them down there. But on this one, it was like, that hole looks pretty good. Let's hope it is. Um, all right, I'll be right down. Do it live. <laughs> okay. Um, what to say? What to say? This boulder is kind of, it's, you know, it is very much my style. Um, but just to give a little bit of a description on what kind of holes you have. The, the crux hold is definitely the one, the second one, the slope or pinch, where getting the thumb on was kind of the, the key. Like, as soon as I had that one on, I was really solid, but first I missed it, and then popped it on. Um, and then the one on the right is it's pretty good, it's a good hold. So, definitely the left, left hand hold is the worst one on the boulder. Uh, and then, yeah, I think it was right, it was like three or four power moves, so luckily it worked. I, I guess that's it for this boulder. Let's move on over to the the final one, uh, slightly crimpier one than the ones that we've tried so far. So um, I forgot one thing. Remember, write down the grade for boulder number three. I think it's called something beast. Anyways, um, final boulder is kind of it's definitely not my my main style. I'm, I've gotten pretty good at this style now, but definitely not great. Um, and it's crimping. On like small nasty okay this one is actually pretty good but small and nasty edges like this one uh, and we've been climbing for a few days so skin is not really appreciating those right now but I'll, I'll pull with everything I got and try and flash it if I don't you know I'll just have to bear through the pain <laughs> um, so yeah let's hop on the final boulder My God! What? Okay, not a flash. God, I, I just I don't get how people pull on these kind of holes so hard. Uh. Ooh. Okay, that works. <laughs> cool beta. Yeah, definitely some cool moves. Okay, I'll try it again. Mm. Okay. I'm like really dreading this because it's 25 something degrees Celsius outside right now. And grabbing this crimp, I know will like burn through each layer of my skin. But I'll just summon all my rage and just like. <laughs> don't care about the skin for one attempt and uh, and just sort of hope it goes okay that felt good though most fingers are okay it's just one that I shredded through two days ago and it hasn't fully healed up so the index finger is like on this little edge that hurts so bad. Ooh. I'll rest for a, another minute and just summon my my psych back and then finish it. <laughs> All right, let's put an end to this this boulder. I was surprised, the final move, I actually wanted to go... I planned it to go right hand <laughs> to the edge. 
But I was just like, this crimp is so solid. I went left. Cool. Okay, that was the, uh, yeah, the final boulder for the day. Um, make sure you note down each, each of your guesses for the grades on each boulder. Um, because we're soon gonna have the guessing game. I'm just gonna take a quick breather and then, and then yeah, we'll jump into it. All right, so that was the final boulder. Um, done with all four, that feels pretty good. And it's time for what I'm hoping most of you have been waiting for. I, actually, wait. Um, one thing before we start with all the with all the grades is I noticed a lot of people aren't subscribed. Um, I look through the statistics all the time because I'm kind of like a nerd with those things and Yeah, evidently a lot of people who are watching the videos aren't subscribed. So make sure you subscribe um, And yeah now for the drum roll and everything um, First boulder of today was a 7a plus a compression thing uh, So yeah, oh wait oh, yeah. yeah, exactly. That was the first boulder Second boulder with the undercling, sloper undercling, and then the good holds going out the the thing was a 7A. Uh, third boulder of today was actually a 7C plus slash 8A, and then the final boulder for the day was 7B. Um, so yeah, drop me a comment with how many of them you got correct, because I'm I'm actually quite curious how like your perception of how it looks is converted into real grades. And this is this was my opinion on the grades. It's the general consensus for them. I might differ once like with one or two grades on each boulder, but most of them I think were quite correct. So yeah, drop a comment with how many how many of them you got right. That's gonna be the end for this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye folks.